Well, Larry, first of all, can I welcome you to Nailcut Hall for the British Par 3 Championship. Have you enjoyed yourself so far? It's just wonderful being here, really. It's, uh, I couldn't think of a better place to be at this time of the year. Back home, it's 95 degrees. This is really comfortable for me. I must admit, watching you as a child on, on, on the US uh, Senior Tour and that, why the cigars and the hats? Listen, first of all, what do you mean when you were a child? I'm sorry. <laughs> Come on, Willie, give me a break. I'm old, but I'm that old, you know. Um, I was stationed on the island of Guam. I was a weatherman, a meteorologist, and I had an old commander who used to smoke cigars, and I said, geez, commander, do you think I could try one of those? So I started. But the story with the hat is, I started with a baseball cap originally playing. And the reason I went to, because of the sun, that we're always exposed to the sun. The dermatologists recommend that I had a high or brim hat on that would cover my ears a little more so I wouldn't have a problem. Obviously, a club pro for many, many years, you then decided to take a senior tour status to have won a major. That must have been fantastic. Well, you know, I started off in 1990 uh, qualifying, and in the States, they have maybe 4,000 guys trying to qualify. And you have like two separate qualifiers. The first one I qualified just barely stuck in under the wire. And then the second qualifying I went, and they only take eight guys every year in America. I think now they're down to six. So out of 4,000, I was one of the eight. And uh, the first year on a tour, I won 165,000. Of course, we didn't play for that kind of money that they're playing for over a million now. I think the biggest tournament we had was 250,000 or four. So I won about 165,000, and they only took 31 players for the next year. I finished 32nd. Nicholas had just come out and played only four events. You had to play six to keep your card, so, which he didn't. So they moved the, everybody up one spot. So I got 31, so I continued for my second year. <laughs> uh, 92, I was fortunate enough to win the U.S. Senior Open at Salkin Valley in Pennsylvania. So that gave me enough to keep going. And well, I played for about 12 years, winning about $2.6 million in, in my short career. Well, obviously so, everybody knows you as a, as a major winner now. And of course, you spend a lot of your, your time in Las Vegas. You must have had some good fun in Vegas, and did, did you teach anybody famous? A few people. I played with a lot of the celebrities, and being one big one was Dean Martin, and I probably played a hundred rounds of golf with him. And what a fine, classy, perfect gentleman at all times. Plus, he was a good player. He was an eight handicap, and he used to play at Riviera Country Club, which was in L.A., where they have the, the tournament of L.A. Uh, open every year. And he played to an eight handicap playing from the back tees. He was just a wonderful man to have around and be around. First time in England playing on what we call the British Par 3 Championship. How much fun is it playing out there? This golf course is too tough for me. Really. <laughs> <laughs> it's too many short holes. I'm not that good of a short game player. But what an interesting golf course this is. This is really fun. I would never have thought, and I was speaking to Tony Jacklin the other day, and I said, Tony, I said, I can't believe we can have this much fun playing a Par 3 golf course. And he agreed. He said, it, it's absolutely magnificent. And it was so kind to him. And, and Eric heard to invite me to come over and they asked me if I would come and I said sure I'd love to come. You'll come back again and, and uh, treat us some more fun and golf? I would absolutely love to be here. Well Larry we really loved having you here thanks very much for coming. Thank you very much.